Suspected ZANU-PF supporters have invaded a farm belonging to former President Robert Mugabe on the outskirts of Harare. According to reports, the invaders set up barricades at the farm entrance. Mnangagwa last week hinted at a ZANU-PF rally in Kadoma that Mugabe's family will be forced to relinquish its farms in line with the government's one-man, one-farm policy. Mugabe, who died in Singapore in September, owned several commercial farms that were seized from white Zimbabweans at the height of the land reform program. The former first family is already on the verge of losing a Mazoe farm, which is being parceled out to small-scale gold miners. Soon after Mugabe's death, some ZANU-PF officials wanted the ruling party to seize his Blue Roof mansion and another house in Harare. The properties are registered under zanu -PF. PF. To make sense on this developing story, we are joined on the line by foreign editor Sophie Mukwena. Sophie, good evening and thank you so much for joining us on The Globe. Good evening, Lulu and the viewers. Now, Sophie, what's the latest from Zimbabwe pertaining to the family of the late former Zimbabwe president, Robert Mugabe? Well, yesterday we got a tip off that uh, there are people who want to invade the farm. And we were told that uh, this uh, happened at a time where uh, Grace Mugabe's brother is actually working on the farm. And when we tried to get hold of uh, uh, his brother, we couldn't get hold of his brother to verify the information. And then our team last night went there and they saw people who were trying to invade the farm. But finally, very late last night, they left. Mm -hmm. And there was an indication that today they will continue to try and invade that farm. Mm. And as you have indicated that uh, President Emerson Nangagwa uh, made a statement perhaps that has led to people taking a decision to invade that farm yeah. by saying that uh, uh, the policy of one man, one farm is going to be implemented. In other words, they were going to take back uh, farms that belong to people or uh, if a person has got more than one farm and he will have to hand over or she will have to hand over the farm to the authorities. But the question many people are asking in Zimbabwe is looking at the cabinet and the leaders of ZANU-PF and the veterans, the war vets, uh, can they really say that they have done an audit to check whether some of them uh, are not having more than one farm and therefore the question is why target Grace Mugabe because there are rumors that are not verified that some of the uh, senior people within the political arena are actually having more than one farm and therefore it looks like uh, she's been singled out or she has been targeted. You know that the relations have been very uh, bad or frosty between her and the current government, even though at some point in time it looked like uh, they have been able to address this issue, but it looks like it is not so. Now, Sophie, when the Vice President Constantino Chiwenga returned from China, he visited the Blue Roof, um, the official residence of the former president. Why, was, why did he visit there? Well, we are told that because when the former president died, at that time, uh, you know that uh, uh, Vice President Constantino Chiwanga was in China receiving medical attention. And uh, you know that uh, Mugabe was a former commander-in-chief and he was the general under President Robert Mugabe. So he visited the family like all people would do uh, to just uh, visit the family after a family mem member has passed on. And... Uh, that's how it's been uh, perceived, or that visit, or how it's been described, that visit. But some people also are saying that there's a lot of uh, rumors and, you know, unconfirmed reports that uh, politically the country is not as stable as one would think it is. Uh, there are subtle, uh, you know, attempts and maneuvering, you know, politically, but we don't know who is who, and there are factions and groupings within the ruling party, but also you have a similar problem within the, 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 the opposition ranks that is very, very fragmented. Therefore, 
it's a very difficult situation, but uh, for now, President Emerson Nangawa is still in the driving seat. Mm. Now, Sophie, very quickly, just in wrapping up, has there been any reaction from um, the Mugabe family so far? The family's mom, uh, they don't want to talk because, you know, if they can say something, uh, perhaps that would offend the authorities, but uh, have heard from rumors that uh, it looks like uh, uh, former First Lady Grace Mugabe has spoken to some senior former leaders in the SADC region asking them to intervene in this standoff between her and the government. Uh, we're trying to investigate who are these senior SADC former heads of state that she has spoken to, to ask them to intervene. We are not sure yet. But you know that ZANU-PF will be going to a Congress mid-December, and perhaps uh, during the Congress, uh, during the political report of uh, the current president of ZANU-PF or the president of that country, Emmons Nangagwa, in the political report, we'll get a sense of uh, uh, what's happening within the party, state, and perhaps other issues that are related to stability of that country. Sophie, thank you so much for joining us this evening. That is our foreign editor, Sophie Mugwena, joining us um, with an update on exactly what's taking place in Zimbabwe. With